Together a quick tutorial on my little ledge bears here. You see I got one, two, three of them. Um, I'll show you how I get them started and just what I do for my cuts. <clears throat> so I got a log here that is 28 and by about 15 or 16 inches wide and uh, about the same up and down. Got 17 inches here. Um, so what you're looking for when you cut your log out here <coughs> is to get this L, this L shaped in it. This will be the butt, and this is what's going to be hanging down their legs, uh, their arms. This is your hang down. So when <coughs> when they sit, you know that's the L you'll be seeing there. So usually I let, if there's knots, like there is in this one, that'll kind of dictate which direction they're going. So I'm not gonna put the head over here where there's knots and everything. So I start with my head on this side. Um, actually first, I'll take this line straight across, which is gonna be the, where they're actually laying. And I'll, I'll bring that across. <clears throat> so that's where you know <coughs> the body will be. So, you know, above here is your bear. This is what can be hanging down is limbs. This is all the, the hang down. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to be setting the head on this side, leaving enough room for the ears. Now the ears will be somewhere up here. This is all, you don't need to be too detailed about this yet, you're just setting in the big basic shapes. So his other hand will be over here, he's laying on his hand. <clears throat> And like this right here will be his, his uh, arm he's laying on, his shoulder will be going up behind his ear. But here's your down arm. And you kind of get his muzzle. His eyes will be here. And then this side he's got his arm hanging down further than his other hand because this one's kind of hanging down. And it'll go back up. And then his foot, which is laying up under him. Oh, great, we're gonna have a knot right on his foot. Okay. You have his foot hanging down. His butt. And his back leg will be coming in here. And foot hanging down. So there's your bear. Roughly, just the, this is all gonna get cut off and redrawn on anyways, it's just landmarks. And I will punch this in. Uh, you you want to think about what's the furthest out. You know, usually this foot for me is one of the furthest. This hand, because this one's tucked back a little bit under. If you think about how they're laying, they're kind of their shoulders, you know, are pitched this direction a little bit. This hand set back a little further, just like this. This hand set back a little further. This one's a little more prominent. This foot sticking out the most in behind this. Leg. And then once you get all that set, you know, then you can <clears throat> start rounding their spine out and their body. Um, but first, let's set some of this.
anything past this line here is will be punched out. This will be all negative space. Um, above this line, you know, there's bare. Below this line, anywhere that's outside of the bare outline is negative space, so it'll get cut right off. Uh, and that's what I like to do at first is come in and cut these big shapes in and then start shaping them. So I'm going to be pushing the belly back here so I can cut in around the foot. <clears throat> I'll know that this will be rounded down. Uh, I can kind of punch in the legs here because this is all going to be rounded in. These are, you know, they're not squares, they're columns. Um, and then start cutting in these negative spaces. I can cut this out. Once we get a little further back in, I'll punch in the, the bear's face because that goes back. Now I'm gonna think about your angles, how you want this plane of the nose to be. I'm, he's kind of laying, looking down here, so I'm, you know, I got the downward slope, and then the right angle created by the face. Um, so I'm gonna punch that in now.
All right, I'm gonna mark on the ears now. All right, now I'm gonna set these ears in, and then once I get those ears set in, I know that this shoulder will be down below this ear, so I can cut that in as well. And, and then I'll be angling this arm outwards. Then I can bring the belly down to where the foot will be, and I'll kind of know where I can round the hips here up towards, uh, also shaping the back of the neck and the spine once these ears are cut out. So that's about where I like to set the soldier shoulder in, blah, down beneath this uh, ear here. And now I can round the belly towards this arm, round it down to this foot and kind of get the shape of the body like that. <clears throat> I'll cut out here behind the ear, but also keeping in mind that, you know, the elbow's coming back. There's a shoulder back here as well under this ear.
I'm gonna draw the curve of the bear. So it'll be like this arm will come back like this and swoop, swoop.
All right, that's the basic block and you can go back to the room and find it.